Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life UK. My name's Tom. This is the only YouTube channel dedicated to the Audi Camado, and today we are cooking quite possibly the best chili recipe ever. Stick around to see what it is. So, best chili ever. As you've probably seen by the thumbnail, this is an over the top chili. So if you've never heard of over the top chili, basically you spice your mince meat um, with all your chili spices. So you put half of your spice in the mince and half of your spice in the sauce itself. You put a grill grate over the top of your crock pot and you smoke that mince over the top of your um, tomatoes and all of the rest of your chili so that all of the fat and the flavors drip out of the mince. The smoke infuses the meat itself. Then when your big meatball is cooked, you chop it up and you put that into the chili itself underneath. So first of all, you're gonna look at these quantities and you're gonna think that this is a massive amount of chili. So the quantities that I'm giving you is an amount for one family. I'm cooking a double batch because we've got people around tonight out in the garden. So what you're seeing is double the amount of what the quantities I'm actually going to be giving you. The first thing we need to talk about is our spices. So our spices, now I'm probably gonna forget a few when I'm listing them out here. So all of the quantities and exact ingredients are gonna be in the description below. So make sure you check it out. But in here we have got things like onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, smoked paprika, cumin, um, there's thyme in here, there's oregano in here, there's cayenne pepper, chili flakes, all sorts of stuff. As I say, I've probably forgotten a few, so make sure you check it out underneath and that will be all your quantities and ratios down there as well. So now that we've discussed our spices, it's time to actually start to cook. So I've taken 500 grams of mince and I've broken it all up and laid it out on a chopping board. And we're gonna take half of our spice mixture and we're gonna sprinkle it all across our uh, mince beef. Now I'm using 12% uh, fat today, so anything around there will work. 20% will be fine. I wouldn't use five because where we're cooking quite slowly, it's gonna dry the meat out. So 10%, 20% is better for this because we're not direct cooking. So I've laid this out on a board and we're gonna use half that spice mixture, sprinkle it across the top and then we're gonna incorporate it through the meat. Now it's not like a burger where we say don't overwork your meat, you wanna be making sure that you've got that spice all the way through. And then we're gonna start bringing it in and we're gonna make it into a giant meatball. As I say, I've got two meatballs because I'm using double the amount, but you just wanna make one giant meatball out of that 500 grams worth of mince. And then we want to leave that to sit for at least half an hour, just to let them flavors start to infuse really through the meat. So I just sit that chopping board in the fridge for half an hour while I light the camado. And as I say, that lets it really balance everything out so that the flavors all the way through the meat. So when it comes to the lighting our camado, I've got my charcoal in the bottom as per normal, and I'm going in with a couple of wax goodies. And I light them, bottom vent fully open and the lid open just while they're taking. And then once them woodies have gone out, it's time to shut our lid down and dial in our vents for around 150 degrees C worth of cooking. So I did just under two fingers on the bottom and then the daisy wheel on the top is just over a quarter of the way open. If you want more help on vent settings on the AK, then please check out the iCard in the top corner and I'll leave a link in the description below to my rough guide on setting the vents on the Audi Camado for different temperatures. So we've dialed in our temperature. We're gonna go in with our crock pot. Now I'm using the Yanni Divide and Conquer again today. So I'm using the pot ring. If you don't have one of those, you can still cook this. Just put your normal grill grate in, stick your crock pot on the normal grill grate. You're gonna be slightly further away from the heat so it might take a little bit longer to get things up to temperature, get up to your boiling points. But the key with this recipe is that you pick your consistency. So you're just gonna be cooking it for a bit longer than what I am. But as I say, I'm using the Yanni Divide and Conquer today and I've gone in with a pot ring. I've got my cast iron pot in the bottom. I'm just gonna leave that to preheat for a few minutes and then we're gonna go in with a little bit of olive oil. So we get that olive oil in the bottom 
and you want to go in with one large onion so stick that into the bottom and where we're still a relatively low heat and the cast iron is still coming up to temperature just shut the lid down and every couple of minutes just go back and just give it a little stir just to make sure there's nothing sticking we just want to sweat down those onions just take them to a bit more of a translucent in color and soften them down slightly they don't need to be completely soft because we've got a lot of cooking to do today we just want to get them slightly more translucent and a bit softer once we've got to this stage you want to go in with one red pepper a couple of chilies so i've used red chilies that i've taken the seeds out of if you want it a bit hotter then leave your seeds in or pick a hotter chili altogether and four cloves of garlic so dump all that in together that's another key thing about this cook is that we dump a lot in together at the beginning and then it's relatively low maintenance so we get that in we're going to get it incorporated through so that everything's all mixed together and then we're going to go in with our other half of our spice mixture so get that in and again incorporate that through next up is tinned tomatoes so go in with two tinned two cans of tinned tomatoes so get those in and again incorporate them through also if you like um, kidney beans and chili beans I've used a mixed can of mixed beans today so we're going to get that in with the tomatoes as well incorporate it through I do a dash of Worcester sauce at this point as well and then we're pretty much done with our chili what I forgot to say is that when I add my spice mixture at this point I do put two beef stock cubes in with it so I'd already broken that down into the um, the spice mixture itself but as I say that will be in the description below that just adds a little bit more richness and a little bit more colour to the chilli by adding them stock cubes so we've got that on we've got it all mixed together and that is as simple as this gets so now that we've got that all incorporated through it's time to get some smoking wood on so I'm just using two chunks of oak today and I'll just drop that in down the side of the crock pot onto them coals underneath so that we can get a nice heavy smoke on the mince as we add that in in a moment so next we need to get our grill grate on top of our crock pot so if you're using the original Audi Camado grill grate then use your grill extender over the top set that up so that you can still get a spoon in the edge so that you can give it a stir sort of every 20 minutes if you're using the divide and conquer then I find the half moon fits nicely on there as well again set it off centre slightly so you can get in there with a spoon so once that's in place we want to go in with our giant meatball so as you can see it's really started to sweat some of the moisture out of this meat and infuse some flavours in and we're just going to get that meatball pop it on top make sure that it's directly over the top of the crock pot you don't want to waste any of those juices and we shut the lid and it is as simple as that keep an eye on your temperatures don't let it get too hot especially if you've got the divide and conquer because your crock pot is sitting much much closer to the coals but we shut that lid we've got that heavy smoke rolling and then about every 20 minutes i just pop the lid open give it a quick stir and shut the lid back down so that we don't increase that temperature by bringing the airflow in and we're not losing too much temperature by keeping the lid open for too long and so every 20 minutes we give that a stir after about an hour and a half now is when you want to start checking your temperature in your beef so if you wanted to use a probe in there right from the beginning you could I didn't today because to be honest I didn't really think about it but you want to take that mince up to anywhere from sort of 64 degrees so it's cooked but it's not really cooked and at that point we take our meatball off as you can see our sauce is really starting to thicken up if you want to add more water to thin it down you can so I've added half a pint of water at this stage to mine because it's a bit too thick already. So I've half a pint of water in there and that's just helped loosen things up because we've still got a little bit of cooking to do once we re-add our mince. So I've taken that mince over to a chopping board, go at it with a knife and chop it up as small as you possibly can. You want it to be as your mince would be if you was cooking a chilli in a traditional style. If you was just frying it off where it breaks up into small pieces that is what you want break it down into small pieces and then get it back into that 
sauce. Incorporate it through. As I say, if you need more moisture in there, add some water. I added half a pint at this point, and then we're just gonna let that cook through. And the beauty of this is that that meat has taken on a real heavy smoke. And then by putting it in and cooking it for another half an hour, the sauce draws some of that smoke out. It balances everything out really nicely and it gives you a brilliant chili. So I cooked mine for another 30 minutes. You cook it for as long as you want to get to the consistency that you want. If you want a really thick chili, then you're gonna be cooking for a bit longer. If you want a thinner chili, then you don't need to cook it for quite as long, or you can do the half an hour and add a bit, a bit, little bit more moisture at this point. The consistency is all up to you. So we've got this cooked, it's had its half an hour. I'm really happy with the consistency. I'm not doing a taste test today because this is for dinner tonight. So this is gonna go indoors in the slow cooker on warm, and it's just gonna sit there and it's ready for this evening. And I've got a nice stress-free dining for this evening. All I'm gonna do is cook up some hot dogs so that we can have some chili dogs as well. I'll stick a picture up on the screen so you can see it now. So if you like what we are doing at Barbecue Life UK, then please do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you ring that bell to receive notifications. Like the video, give us some love, and leave us a comment and let us know what you think. If you're planning on cooking this, let me know. Join our community, share your cooks with us. We're a really nice bunch of people on there, and I cannot wait to see what you guys are cooking. Thank you very much for watching.